I know some of you might have been afraid that GPS Macaulay Got Talent 12 would have been the last one ever. Well, have no fear. I'm here to welcome you personally to GPS Macaulay Got Talent, the 13th! My name is Joseph Hassan. I am the president of the Blue Tornado Entertainment for Council from Macaulay and I am so fired up about today. Our performers are excellent, they are talented, they are amazing, and they are fired up just for you. Please give me a moment to introduce my wonderful co-host, the president of the GPS Gypsies, Senior Luisa Bonner! Obviously, I am not Franny Pritchard. Um, she was a little under the weather, and I've had this job for maybe 48 hours now. So if I have to refer to my notes a little bit, please cut me some slack. But I, even with that, we have 14 amazing acts from both GPS and Macaulay. And per usual, y'all will play a critical role in choosing the winning act. All 14 acts are eligible to win, and you will be the ones voting to decide who is walking home with the grand prize. Voting information is in the back of your program, but we'll get to that later. So for now, please silence your phone so you can pay your undivided attention to picking the winning act. Trophies will be going home with the grand prize winner as well as the top middle school finisher. In addition to the hardware, it gets better. The top finisher will <laughs> stop close laughing at me, Joseph. The top finisher will get five hundred dollars. The second place finisher will get one hundred and twenty-five dollars. The third place getting seventy-five, and the top middle school finisher will get a hundred dollars. But Joseph. What happens if the middle school wins it all? Well, if I can count correctly, if a middle school winner wins both grand prize and top finisher, they should walk home with... The whole freaking shebang. $600 and both trophies. We ready? Yeah, who's ready to get this party started? <laughs> Louisa will introduce our first act. All right, our first act making her Got Talent debut is GPS freshman singing Getaway Car by Taylor Swift. Please welcome to the stage, Ella Beth Weedmer. to the 
other side, to the other side. Bar, put the money in a bag and I stole the keys. That was the last time you ever saw me driving the getaway car. We were flying, but we never get far. Don't pretend it's such a mystery. Think about the place where you first met me riding in a getaway car. There were sirens in the beautiful heart. Shouldn't know I'd be the first to leave. Think about the place. That was awesome. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, so why did you why did you choose to sing Getaway Car? Um, I wish I had like a clever, interesting story to tell you guys, but honestly, I have been probably planning this since like the beginning of the school year because I'm just very obsessive like that sometimes. So I was like, what song am I gonna sing? And every day my family can tell you. I was like, what if I do this song? What if I do this song? What if I do this song? And it got pretty annoying for everyone around me. So I finally was like, you know, Getaway Car's fun. It's got a good energy. It's fun to perform. And I love Taylor Swift. So I was like, yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, well, you just said you're a Taylor Swift fan. Is Getaway Car your favorite song of hers? or It might be my favorite song. I don't know. I just think it's really fun to perform. And I thought, like, I watched her Reputation Stadium tour on Netflix. And that was, like, one of my favorite things to watch is that performance because it's just so fun. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Ella Beth. Thank you. So this is a variety show, not just singing and dancing. So um, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be right if we didn't have a crazy act coming next. So taking, coming up next, taking the stage on eight wheels, is GPS sophomore Emerson Couch.
Now that, let me just say, that was impressive. I can't roller skate two feet, so that was awesome to see. So we hear you're on the junior roller like derby team. Can you explain to us like what that is? Yeah, so the junior roller derby team is a roller derby team from kids for 10 to 17. And once they age out, they can go to the adult roller derby team. Well, like what is it? Like what do you do? <laughs> well, you try to get past the other team's blockers. So you're just trying to skate through around the track. Do you have like any funny stories from your time on the team? My very first bout, the girls were a lot older than me, and they kept saying encouraging things like, you can do this, I believe in you, which I thought was really funny because they were trying to beat me. <laughs> very nice. well, let's give it up one more time for Emerson Couch. Our next act is one of two coordinate acts, and they truly will be coordinating as they will be performing a duet on the ivory. Quick vocab word, ivory means piano. If uh, Mr. Odell's in the crowd, he taught me that in his Euro class. Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> I know, I see the thumbs up now. Uh, please welcome Macaulay and GPS seventh graders performing Hungarian dance number five by Johannes Brahms, Mary Madeline Sanders, and Jonathan Wu. That was incredible. So you can, can you tell the audience, what's the story of how you two met? Okay, so we had a mutual friend that introduced us, and then we started talking through Honors Orchestra, and I eventually forced him to do this performance. Now, whose idea was it to audition for Got Talent? It was hers, and she also dragged me into it. She dragged you into it, interesting. I, I, I claim full credit for this performance. Oh, he does, uh-oh, who's splitting the prize money? Basically, I get one dollar, she gets 99 Because I did all the work. I Sounds fair to me. Can you, uh, why this song? This piece is, well, we uh, really, uh, like, beginning, we thought we wanted to do a really long, difficult piece. And then I think my dad made us do this one. Shh. <laughs> and then who practices more out of you two? Mary, and I don't practice a lot because my attention span is negative 10. Makes sense to me. All right, give it up one more time for Mary Madeline Sanders and Jonathan Wu. Great job, guys. Our next act 
can best be described as one part comedy, one part improv, and one part miscellaneous. Representing Plug, oh, I can hear this is a hot topic one already. Representing Plug Pals Incorporated, it's Macaulay Juniors, Henry Absher, and Morgan Wills. Alrighty, before we get started here tonight, I'd like to thank Macaulay and GPS Got Talent for hosting us here. I'm the CEO of Plug Pals Incorporated, Morgan Wills, and this is Henry Absher, directing, Director of Market, Marketing and Research. Good afternoon, y'all. Alrighty, I think that we have a short presentation here that will show our company's message. Absolutely. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get started with what we have here, and that's what we call, uh, it's, it's a pretty standard child right there. Uh, our next step after that is a plug, a wire, or a cable. And that's right, our last step. Let's plug in the child. <laughs> and that's really what our company's all about. Plug pals. We're, we're all about electrifying children and making them better. Out with the nuclear family, let's introduce the electrical family. Alrighty, I think we're open for questions now. If anyone has any, just raise your hand. <laughs> yes, you're there. <laughs> right there behind you. <laughs> right in the back. Mm -hmm. Can you use an Apple charger? No. So interestingly, uh, our children run off of some proprietary technology. While of course you can't plug them in, we also have a brand new system of batteries oh, yes, formed out of calcium, interestingly. That's right, bones. <laughs> you there, up there. How much do you pay children? We don't pay children anything. <laughs> exactly. It's all about the parents' love and affection for the child. Yes, if you would ask how much these cost, well, they cost your love and affection. Just like a normal child. If you love them enough, you'll pay any price. You were there. What's the history of your company? Well, that's a really good question, and we didn't initially start the company together. We both had similar ideas, but we came together to form Plug Pals. Mm -hmm. Would you give us the history of where we discovered the technology for Plug Pals? So like I mentioned earlier, we use calcium batteries in our children. Again, formed primarily from bone. Well, we recently, after we started working together on this project, we were like, well, how do we, how do we get them to charge? Well, we tried working on adults, and children seemed to be more receptive, but they still didn't really like being plugged in, we found. Uh, so we took a small company van up to the small town of Salem, Massachusetts, where we disinterred the corpse of a witch outside of the town there. Spooky. Indeed. And on the witch's corpse was a piece of paper, uh, which allowed us to perform an unholy ritual to curse batteries made out of bone. And now that's how we plug in our charge our children. Indeed. You up there. No. Y yeah, yes. Uh, yep. Yes. 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 It's uh, very ethical. It, it is indeed. <laughs> you there? Can you wreck one? Well, it's actually, it's, it's similar to adoption, I would describe the process as, is you're gonna receive a child that has already gone through the process of electrification, which allows for better memory, computation speed, mm -hmm. and a number of other great benefits. See, we have different tiers, right? Uh, there's different sorts of memberships. You can get the Plug Pals Plus expansion pack, and it comes with extra downloadable mods onto your child. That's right. Mm -hmm. You there? Not yet, but we've been working with the U.S. government and trying to get them off our tail, in all honesty. You there? Well, some, and it's, it's, a, it's a limited 30-minute warranty. If you somehow drop it on the way out of the store, then we, could, then we can work with that. And it's only available for those with the expansion pack, of course. That's right. You there? Mm, where do we get the calcium? Well, that actually comes from the bones of the witch that we disinterred out of yeah, Salem, so, Massachusetts. Uh, so she has regen regenerative properties, and so we have to keep her in the ground, you see. Uh, and, and by doing so, we just keep digging her up end endlessly and use all the bones. Yeah, 
We have to drive up to Salem rather often to keep producing the batteries necessary to work with our company. You up there. Does it have a headphone jack? Uh, no. We, you have to use a different set of headphones that are not wireless per se, but there is a jack that's in near the back of the ear there. Because mm -hmm. uh, the cord where you plug it in is at the back of the neck, so it, no, it, it's, a, it's a similar spot right there. There. Again, it's not when you really love your child, the money's not an issue, my friend. You there? It does not, luckily. Not at all. Uh, the same cannot be said of the adults that, be pl that are plugged in, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We miss Bob. You there? Yes, so how you do it is you have our, our special child port, right? And you can buy different sizes, of course. So at, at the nape of the neck is where you plug it in. And we have this fancy procedure, uh, which, is, which comes from our company name, Plug Pals. Backwards is slap goal, right? So in order to wake them up, you slap them on the cheek, and <laughs> is what they do. And that's the simple process of electrifying our children. Again, the, the, the benefits of having a plugged-in child are immense, and we would highly recommend them. You know, I think all the, that's all the time we've got. Maybe we can fit in one more question? Yeah, maybe one more question. You there. Mm. So the children are donated by certain individuals, uh, and they, they have to be uh, at least five years or younger, younger because the cords, it needs to work with the developing brain, you see. And so there is a special kit available, if you so desire, to, to plug in your existing kid, but it will cost a bit more. Uh, of your love, of course. But yeah, I think all right, that's all. I think, yeah, I think that's all the time we have this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Well, that certainly was something. Now, a few questions. Could I get plugged in myself? Could I join the program? I would personally not recommend that, but if you want to, be our guest. What, what might be the risks of getting plugged in at I, my age? At your age? Well, if you do the same procedure, you'll just have a gaping hole in your neck. So, But it, you could plug something into that hole, right? That's the point. You could, but there would still be a gaping hole in your neck. It, don't, it does not work with people Why is the age. hole bigger than the plug? Can't you just make it to fit? Well, as you see, like we said earlier, we undergo a procedure, and you can't just stick a cord in the neck of someone who's not plugged in, of course. So I have to be plugged in to be plugged in, is you what you're saying? You have to be saying. outfitted I, oh. with the plug. Interesting. So, so you just can't be outfitted right from, you have to be ready for the get-go, right? Yeah, totally. Interesting. That's good to know. Can you tell me more about the company's founding, the history of Plug Pals? Well, of course. When I was in school, I sometimes was like, man, this is really, really hard. Maybe I just want to take a break, and taking a nap isn't quite what I wanted. Maybe I wanted to be fully deactivated. And with, if, I, if only I were plugged in, that could be a possibility. Interesting. Well, I think I can see the FBI walking into the Frierson right now. So give it up one more time for Plug Pals Incorporated. Next up, we have a wonderful seventh grade singer from GPS. Please welcome to the stage Grayson Coverly, who's singing Like I'm Gonna Lose You by Megan Trainer. Find myself dreaming. Silver and gold, like a scene from a movie that every broken heart knows. You're walking on moonlight, and you pull me close. Split second, and you disappeared, and then I was all alone. I woke up in tears with you by my side. Breath of relief, and I realize no one I promise tomorrow 
So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna hold you like I'm saying goodbye. Wherever we're standing, I won't take you for granted. Cause we'll never know when, when we'll run out of time. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. In the blink of an eye, just a whisper of smoke, you could lose everything. The truth is, you never know. So kiss, you, so kiss you longer, baby. Any chance that I get. I'll make the most of the minutes in love with no regret. So let's take our time, say what we want, use what we got before it's all gone. Yeah, cause no, I promise tomorrow. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna hold you like I'm saying goodbye. Wherever we're standing, I won't take you for granted. Cause we'll never know when, when we we'll run out of time. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. That was awesome, Grayson. Great job. So, why did you choose to sing a cappella today? The people that were singing the song, they used like a more um, pop music version for the music. And so the way I was singing, it was like less pop. <laughs> well, it's originally sung by Megan Trainor. It's like she one of your favorite artists or? Um, I mean, not like my most favorite artist, but um, yeah. <laughs> Do you mind sharing with the crowd who your favorite artist is? Okay, so my favorite artist is actually BTS. Um, <laughs> yeah. You have some great cheers out there. That seems to be a common favorite with the crowd based on their reaction. Well, well, everybody, please give it up one more time for Grayson. Great job, Grayson. You killed it. Great job. Next up is a dance act that I personally am very excited to see again. <laughs> Making their third appearance in Got Talent, this senior duo is known by Euphoria Season 2. Please welcome to the stage GPS seniors, Kara Patey and Gabby Meadows.
chills all the time when y'all dance and that one was no different like jaws on the ground the entire time so to get your breath um, so obviously how long have y'all both been dancing sorry <laughs> I've been dancing about nine years and I've been dancing about nine years too has it always been together or yeah sorry <laughs> um we danced it Valley to New City together, and then now we dance at Scenic City together. Well, obviously the name of your dance is Euphoria Season 2, and that show has kind of taken the world by storm right now, so why did you choose that name? Um, well, the soundtrack of Euphoria, like we edited a bunch of songs together for our music, and we just really like Labyrinth, and he's who did like all of their music. They also just came out with a second season. Well, obviously. Um, well, <laughs> well, this is, okay, so I, like I said earlier, this is your third time on Got Talent. So do y'all want to elaborate, like, how your, what your previous times have been and when they were? Um, we danced in eighth and ninth grade. Um, and so this is our last chance for seniors. So hopefully third time's a charm. <laughs> well, let's give it up one more time for Euphoria Season 2, Kara and Gabby. Now, here we go. Now, if you're a fan of felines, you're going to love this next act. It Her seems like... What? It seems like you all know the acts before we're about to announce them. They're just that popular. That's possible. Well, performing Skimble Shanks the Railway Cat from the Tony Award winning musical Cats, please welcome to the stage Ash Day. I 
I would appear and I'd saunter to the rear. I'd been busy in the luggage van. Then he gave one flash of his glass green eyes and the signal went all clear. They'd be off at last for the northern part of the northern hymn. Skimble shanks the railway cat, the cat of the railway train. You might say that by and large it was me who was in charge of the sleepy car express. From the driver and the guards to the bagman playing cards, I would supervise them all, more or less. Down the corridor he paces and examines all the faces of the travelers in the first and the third. He establishes control by a regular patrol, and he'd know at once if anything occurred. He would watch you without winking, and he saw what you were thinking, and it's certain that he didn't approve of hilarity and riot. So the folk were very quiet when Skimble was about it on the move. You could play no pranks with Skimble Shanks, he's a cat that couldn't be ignored. So nothing went wrong on the Northern Mail when Skimble Shanks was aboard. It was very pleasant when they found their little dins with their name written up on the door. And the bird was very neat with a newly folded sheet and not a speck of dust upon the floor. There was every sort of light make it dark or bright, and a button you could turn to make a breeze, and a funny little basin, you're supposed to wash your face in, and a crank to shut the window should you sneeze, <laughs> then the guard looked in politely, would ask you very brightly, do you like your morning tea, weak or strong? But I was right behind him, ready to remind him, for Skimble won't let anything go wrong, when they crept by mice. They could leave all that to the railway cat, the cat of the railway train. Skimble shanks the railway cat, the cat of the railway train. In the watches of the night, I was always fresh and bright. Every now and then I'd have a cup of tea with perhaps a drop of scotch while I was keeping on the watch, only stopping here and there to catch a flea. They were fast asleep at crew, and so they never knew that I was walking up and down the station. They were sleeping all the while I was busy at Carlisle, where I met the station master with elation. They might see me at Alfred if I summoned the police. There was anything they ought to know about. When they got to Gallop Gate, there they did not have to wait. Skimble shanks would help them to get out. Then he gives you a wave of his long brown tail, which says, I'll see you again. You will meet without fail on the midnight mail, the cat of the railway train. Just wow. <laughs> oh my. Obviously, you're a crowd favorite today. Um, so there are two, there are two versions of Cats, the original Broadway version, and in 2019 they came out with a movie. So which one, which one's your favorite? I mean, obviously I prefer the Broadway version because we've all seen the 2019 version. Um, I think that the reason it's so widely hated, not only for the horrid CGI, but also for the fact that movies and musicals are such different forms of media that sometimes when you try to put certain musicals into a movie, it just does not work. And Cats is a prime example of that. Very in-depth answers. Thank you. Well, now, is Skimble Shanks your favorite cat? <laughs> no, actually. I love him. I love his song. My favorite cat has to be the Rum Tum Tugger. 
I've never seen it, so I don't know who the Rum Tum Tugger is, but I'm assuming he's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I gotta ask, where did you get the costume? How'd you get the idea? Well, I got the idea because I was watching the cat, I was watching cats, and I sent to um, a group me. I was like, what if we did cats as a musical? Mm -hmm. And then they were like, no, we're not gonna <laughs> do that. And I said, um, yes, we are, and I'm gonna make it happen. And this is one way of doing it, but we're, I'm working on it. I'm working on getting a full production. Well, sadly, I won't be here for that production, but maybe I'll make a special trip home to watch it if you can get it pulled off. Well, but this costume, um, we actually went to a costume closet, and there was like a little kid's like cat's onesie that's this. <laughs> and then Ella Harris, bless her heart, um, she came and she helped me cut it up and make it into the costume you see now. Wow. Well, it is spectacular. Can we give another, one more round of applause for Ash Day and Skimble Shanks, the railway cat? Do you guys still have that rat? Can I have it? Thank you. I thought he'd want to watch the rest of the show. <laughs> We're about ready to take a break for intermission, but before we close out Act One, we have one more act for you. He you will be recording rat? and looping various tracks to present his own unique version of Slow Dancing in a Burning Room by John Mayer. Please give it up for Macaulay ninth grader, Sid Chimacody. <laughs>
Sid, that was incredible. Okay, can you explain to me in the audience what you were doing with your feet over there? Yeah, so basically what I was doing, I had a loop pedal. So basically what I do is I press the button, it records what I play. I press it again, and it'll like repeat back what I play. So if you heard like two guitars, that's what that was. Gotcha, that makes sense. How many of those tracks did you have playing at once? Yeah, so at the end there, I looped three tracks on top of each other. So gotcha. I mean, How did you come up for the idea for such a unique performance? Yeah, so about a year ago, I heard of this thing called loop pedals. I bought one just to mess around. I thought it was a cool idea. And then recently I thought like it'd be cool to try to play a whole song with it. So yeah. That's great. Give it up one more time for Sid Chimacody. Well, Joseph, we're done with act one. Yeah, that's act one, baby. And so everybody, y'all got 15 minutes to get up, stretch, go get some food, go use the bathroom, whatever you need. And we'll see you back here in 15 see you minutes. Soon. Long time no see, huh? 15 minutes. Seems like a long time backstage. All right, getting act two underway for us all is a coordinate band from Macaulay and GP. Performing Mr. Brightside, it's Jack Moran, Atlee Elliott, David Mosley, Will Owen, Hannah Grace Kornberg, and Sam Big Dog Baker. They are the Rams.
That was incredible. So why don't we start by passing the mic around and telling us your name and what you're doing on stage for us. Uh, I'm Hannah Grace Kornberg and I'm on keyboard. Uh, I'm Sam Baker, I play the drums. Big dog! Big dog! Hey, I'm Will Owen, I play bass. David Mosley, I sing. I'm Matt Lee Elliott, I also sing. I'm Jack Moran, I play guitar. So, Jack, we've definitely seen a few of you here on the Got Talent stage before. Can you tell me the history of your band, all the different iterations you've gone through? So we started in seventh grade by the name of Blue Year. It was Will, me, and this guy named Lane. And then we moved to high school, and we recruited David, Sam, and we got Allie and Hannah Grace, and we, we renamed the Rims. That's awesome. Uh, why the song Mr. Brightside? Um, well, we were originally going to do Van Halen, but we figured Mr. Brightside was going to be more, like, well-known throughout the crowd, and it's really fun to play and sing. Um, it gets everyone hype, you know, that kind of thing. Mosley, can you tell me how, what's it like scheduling rehearsals with such a large group with all very different schedules? It's fun. <laughs> Mosley, can you elaborate for the audience? Time-consuming? That's a... Uh, can you give me two words? Time-consuming is two words, Joseph. If you... Mosley, Mosley, you can probably hyphenate it, so I think time-consuming is one Incorrect word. Incorrect grammar. You can't hyphen time-consuming. Can, can you give me two? Fun. Exciting. How about a complete sentence this time? Can you put a subject in there? Um... The rims are... The rims are very good at scheduling band practice. Yeah. There we go. All right, give it up one more time for the rims. Mosley, Mosley, can we keep the tire? Can we keep it, please? But the rat looks lonely. Yeah, it's ours. Thank you. While Joseph carries the tire off to be friends with the rat that we took from Ash, um, Behind, this, behind the curtain is another GPS dancer who will be performing a tr traditional Irish step dance. Dancing to Tell Me Ma by Shamrocks, please welcome to the stage, Kat Feeney. strength, so I didn't know you had that ability. Um, so Irish stand th step dancing is not exactly a very common thing you really no. see people doing, so how did you get into that? Um, so I was at a St. Patrick's Day parade, and I saw like people doing it in the parade, and I was like, I want to do that, so I did it. Okay. It's pretty easy. How long have you been doing it? I have been doing it for 11 years. So I started when I was four. I mean, what, ma like, what made you want to do this in God Talent? Because it's, I think it's the first, like, 
Irish step dancer we've ever had. Um, so I did it last year in the GPS talent show, and I've done it in like a lot of talent shows before, and I just really love to do it. So. Awesome. Do you have any funny stories from your time as an Irish step dancer? Um, when I was in kindergarten, I was doing like a performance, and I Irish danced off the stage. Like I wasn't focusing, and I just went off the stage. Were you Were you okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No broken bones. No bruises. No nothing. No. Okay, well, great job. Let's give it up one more time for Kat Feeney and her Irish step dancing. Our next performer is a Macaulay senior making his Got Talent debut. Yeah. This is a ready. You guys, I, I, got, I got a script to read from. You got to let me finish it, okay? Did they steal our script? <laughs> it's like, did they steal our script and like know who's coming? Yeah, they know when to interrupt us. Making his Got Talent debut, performing his original piece, Get This Bag, it's Young Ace! Yo, 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 yo! Make some noise, baby! Yes, sir! <laughs> All right, man, so I need y'all to do me a favor. So, uh, like he said, I'm performing an original song, and it's called Get This Bag. So, at a show of hands, who like getting money? Raise your hand if you like money. Yes, sir. All right, so this song is for you, you know. It's about getting the bag. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to need you guys to do is I'm going to need some audience interaction, all right? So I'm going to say, I'm a, and you say, get this bag, all right? We're going to practice. I'm a. Get this bag. All right, baby. So then I'm going to say, I'm a again. You're going to say, get this pape, okay? Like paper, money. I'm a. All right, and then we're going to get this cake too, all right? Cake, the cheese, yes, sir. So, I'm a. All right, so the words will be up. The words will be up. So, if you forget the words, they're going to be up. But I'm going to need y'all to stand up and be interactive with me, okay? Let's go. Y'all been sitting down. Y'all been sitting down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get up. DJ, drop the beat, baby. Let's go. Y'all ain't know I was coming like this, baby. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Reality. I done been dreaming reality. These people forget their morality. I work by the hour, no salary. Yeah. It's sincere to me. Relate to the people who feeling me. By the ice, it really ain't chilling me. If you talking that, you can't chill with me. I'm working for this money. Gotta feed my family. I'm talking five star dinners. Ain't no worry by the feet. You been trying to pay attention cause you trying to get with me Working hard to get this bag I ain't working just for free I'ma get this bag I'ma get this pay I'ma get this cake And you can't relate I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate All my struggles gonna be worth it Working hard to get this cake I'ma get this bag I'ma get this pay I'ma get this cake And you can't relate I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate All my struggles gonna be worth Hard to keep this cake. People ain't talking about nothing. I just been grinding to get to the gold bit. Make connections, I'm setting on meetings, I'm ready to pay the road. Watch how you be moving the hate, it's filling the tank, you're doing your road. I got the keys to the house, but everybody already know. Please just listen to me if you wanna make it out. Just have a need to make this paper, you will figure out that playing ain't gonna get it. Gotta finish what we start. We gonna see what you've been doing, what's been done in the dark. Reading my rights, correcting my wrongs from what I done been through. I'ma multiply my findings, everything on double two. Is it a lie or is it true? I'ma get this bad, don't know about you. All these people sad cause I ain't through. Don't be getting mad cause I'm the truth. I'ma get this bad. I'ma get this cake. I'ma get this cake. And you can't relate. I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate. All my struggles gonna be worth it, working hard to get this cake. I'ma get this bad. I'ma get this pay. I'ma get this cake. And you can't relate. I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate. All my struggles gonna be worth it. Working hard to keep this cake. I'ma get this bag, uh, get this pay, uh, get this cake. And you can't relate. I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate. All my struggles gonna be worth it. Working hard to get this cake. I'ma get this bag, uh, get this pay, uh, get this cake. And you can't relate. I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate. All my struggles gonna be worth it. Working
working hard to get this cake. Uh, yeah. Don't fight it. You see me and you get excited. The floor's too perfect, I write it. Not trying to spend all of my time with all of these people that hate it. Yeah, out of the office, be flagrant. Yeah, I'ma go finish my savings. Yeah, I'm working hard, make it daily. Yeah, I'ma go get me a band. I'ma go get me a milli. I'ma come back with some fans. Can mess with these people, they kitty. Yeah, I'm Black Panther, I'm the king. You hear my song and you sing. I'm finna run up the dream and stay loyal to my queen. Lord to music, oh yeah, it's my energy. Lord to you, now you is my enemy. Lord to me, yo, that's an epiphany. Lyrics together like writing a symphony. I know you can feel it inside of me. I know you can feel it inside of me. Devotion to get in the bag. I'm hard and I don't even pay. I'ma get this bag. I'ma get this pay. I'ma get this cake. And you can't relate. I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate. All my struggles gonna be worth it. Working hard to get this cake. I'ma get this bag. I'ma get this pay. I'ma. I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate. All my struggles gonna be worth it. Working hard to get this cake. I'ma, 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 and you. I've been working for a moment just to step up to the plate. All my struggles gonna be worth it. Working hard to get this cake. Yes, sir. Young Ace. Yes, sir. Hey, I give him a <laughs> Young Ace, who made that beat? I did. Who wrote the lyrics? I also did. When did you start making music? Um, that's a tricky question, because uh, uh, I think when I was about 18 months, is that right, Mom? When I was about 18 months, I uh, started playing the drums. I've been singing since then, and I picked up on three more instruments after that. So I just really been doing music my whole life. Young Ace, you know, I was sitting over there. I was standing over there, actually. I see the crowd, and I had just one question on my mind. Are you on streaming platforms? Oh, yeah, I'm on everything, baby. Go I, Apple Music, Spotify. You can go stream it, baby. <laughs> Lastly, can you tell us what your name means? Um, so, um, Young Ace, the Ace is actually an acronym. Of course, I'm young, you know. <laughs> but then, um, <laughs> and then Ace actually stands for Aaron Crowder Entertainment. So, that's what Young Ace means. So, yeah. That's great. Give it up one more time for Young yes, Ace. Yes, sir. Our next performer is a Macaulay sophomore performing a very challenging song from the Tony Award winning musical West Side Story presenting Maria, it's Ian Hausavort. Yeah. 
it's almost like praying, Maria. I'll never stop saying, Maria. Wow, that was amazing, Ian. Can you tell us, how long have you been singing for? Uh, since as long as I can remember. My parents forced me to do choir when I was younger, and I just stuck with it. And what made you choose Maria from this West Side Story? Uh, well, I've only been a tenor for like two years, and I wanted to do a really cool tenor song, so. And then why do you love West Side Story so much? Uh, well, I love how it shows how, like, you know, Negative stereotypes can like destroy people's lives, and I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good love story. So, <laughs> lastly, how long were you working on that very complex piece? Uh, a few months. My parents are both musicians; they helped me. So, shout out to them. That's great. Give it up one more time for Ian Houseavort. Our next to last performer is actually the youngest in the show. So please welcome to the stage GPS sixth grader Kaylee Kemp, who will be dancing to a song called Dissonance. That was awesome, way to go. So, how long have you been dancing? Since I was four. Since you were four. Well, do you, so, a lot of the moves you were doing definitely look a lot more like acrobatic and gymnastics based. Have you ever, like, been a gymnast? No. 
So then may I ask how you learn those moves? <laughs> it's like, at my dance studio, it's based on acro and stuff. So that's where I learned that. Okay, that's awesome. Well, you're be you being the youngest, youngest performer in the show today, like what made you want to come out and dance and got talent? My friends are like, you're the best dancer we know, so you should go do it. <laughs> great, they have, you have some great friends. <laughs> well, you did awesome. Everybody's super proud of you. So can we get it, give it up one more time for Kaylee Kemp? You know, one day maybe I'll be flexible enough to do that. No, I would break my back. Yeah. Maybe a younger Joseph could pull it off. If you love rock and or roll, then you will be super excited for our last act of the night. You know, before we get there, why don't you all shout out who you think you're going to vote for in a few minutes? No. Joseph, well. you know who... Hey, Joseph, you know who I'm going to vote for? Know who I think I'm going to vote for? Who are you going to vote for? The smoke machine in the back. I it agree. Like Let's give it up for the fog machine, everybody. Time. It's really cold, too. Like, if you see me shivering on stage, it's because of that smoke machine. Yeah, it, it does a lot. It's the backbone of the production, I think. We, we still got to keep going. Okay. Uh. Still going? I still see the waving finger. That's crazy. Did everyone get their homework done before the show today? No. No? Me neither. I think, uh, I think Mr. Carlone's in the audience, and I just want to say to you right now, Mr. Carlone, that packet has not been started yet. <laughs> Way to be honest. I mean, but hey, we got, we got the thumbs up. I think I see the thumbs up. All right, if you love rock and or roll, you'll be really excited for our final act of the night. Performing lead guitar for Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train, it's Macaulay's seventh grader, Henry Coulter.
That was incredible, Henry. Can you tell us how long have you been playing guitar for? About four years now. That's crazy. How, how did you get it to look like that? That is an insane design. Well, it actually came that way. It's an Eddie Van Halen replica. That's really cool. So tell me, why this song, Crazy Train? Well, everybody knows it, everybody loves it, so I decided to play for the people. That's true, that's true. I think they really loved it. Can you tell us what other songs were you considering perform for us today? I was considering the eruption, but then thought, you know, I was, Crazy Train's more, you know, noble. You hear that all the football games, just gets everybody hyped. It's true, it's true. All right, give it up one more time for Henry Coulter. Okay, it's time to vote. Luis and I are going to bring out each act one by one so that you can decide for whom you're casting your final vote. Okay, I'm bringing out the note card on this one because phone numbers and I are not friends. Um, so to text to, for the winning act, you're going to text the number 833-369-4063, and that number can also be found in your bulletin, right? Back of the program. To bring them out, let's bring out all the acts let's back do it. on stage, please. Okay, so you're gonna text the letter of the act you want. Just making that clear. All right, act one, Ella Beth Weedmer. B is Emerson Couch. Act C was Mary Madeline Sanders and Jonathan Wu. Yeah. Act D was Plug Pals Incorporated. E is Grayson Coverly. F is Euphoria Season 2 of Cara Patey and Gabby Meadows. Act G was Ash Day. <laughs> Act H was Sid Shimakoti. Yeah. Act I was The Rims. <laughs> Act J. What? Act J, right? <laughs> Yeah, I messed up my note card. It's Cat Feeney. Act K was Young Ace. Act L was Ian Hausevoort. Act M is Kaylee Kemp. And Act N was Henry Coulter. Can I get a mic stand, please? Yes? No? There we go. All right, so as all of you know, the GPS, the GPS Macaulay Got Talent tradition is to have an all-star act here while you are voting to that number. And some of you may remember a few years ago when a sixth grader won GPS Macaulay Got Talent 8 with his incredible yo-yo skills. Now, I, I know, I, you all know who it is, but he couldn't really be here today. So instead, I thought I'd throw together my own yo-yo skip because, as you all know, I am incredible at the yo-yoing. So let's try and recreate it for you. And this one I call Around the World. I think I cracked my phone. I might, I might not be able to vote this guy challenge. This next one, I'm going to wind up the yo-yo. It's more difficult than it looks. So, this one is called Rock the Cradle, I think. Yeah, thank you. Your, your applause is really not Joseph, necessary. Joseph, you told me you were good. You told me you were good. I am excellent at the yo-yo, Louisa. Then prove it. All right, for my last trick, I'm going to make this thing sleep. Are you ready? Can I get a drum roll, please? Why can't I make this thing sleep? Josh Cornell! The champ is here! Guys, he made it! Josh Cornell! Do you think you can take over for me? Oh yeah, I think I need to take a break. My incredible yo-yo skills are just exhausted today. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the winner of GPS Macaulay Got Talent 8, Macaulay Senior, Joshua Cornell! Yeah, yeah, Joseph.
You know, Josh, the audience may have cheered more for you, but I still think I'm the yo-yo master. I'm just You're kidding. Not. Give it up for Joshua Cornell. That was incredible. Thank you so much. Welcome Thank you. back to the Got Talent stage. Now, tell me, it's obviously been a long time since you've been up here. So what has changed about your talent, your skill for the yo-yo? So I've changed completely how I do things. I used to be really fast with how I yo-yoed. I've now kind of changed and went into this really intricate and technical style, which many people don't do because it's really, like, kind of boring. But if you can really exaggerate it and make it look fun, that's kind of what I did and tried to make it look appealing. I don't think it was boring for the audience. It certainly <laughs> wasn't boring for me. Can you yeah. tell me what's behind, what was the music you were playing, yeah, performing so to? I found it on SoundCloud like a couple weeks ago and I was like, hey, this is kind of cool. Because it has like all the different little hits that I can uh, yeah. kind of choreograph to. And I kind of edited it down so I didn't have to make up for That's lost great. time, so yeah. That's great. Now, before me I see three yo-yos and you have one in your hand. So what's like the difference between those? Of course, those are like my backups. So in case I mess up or it just kind of knots, I have other ones there. So I'm completely not out of it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> no pun intended, but hey. <laughs> Give it up one more time for GPS Macaulay Got Talent 8 Thank winner, so Joshua Cornell. Josh, you want to stay for the end? Yeah. All right, stay. We sit on a wonderful table with all of our goodies from we stole from the Our axe. collection. You can add a yo-yo. Put a yo-yo on the table. Yeah. It's a treasure trove. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's bring all the acts back on stage. I need to go over here. Now, it is time to award the trophies and prizes to the winners of GPS Macaulay Got Talent 13. Presenting the envelopes with the results is BTEC senior Sasha Korntoninko. First, we're gonna meet the middle school top finisher and the winner of $100. We all here? Sasha, the envelope, please. The middle school finisher for GPS Macaulay Got Talent 13 is, drum roll please, Henry Coulter! <laughs> Next, the third place prize. Sasha, the envelope please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a drum roll for your GPS Macaulay Got Talent 13 winner, third place winner, the Rams! Now, it's time for the runner-up. The envelope, please, Sasha. I don't know which way he's coming from today. It just seems to change so much. Oh, there he is, riding atop a Razor scooter. Who could have seen that coming? Not me. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up for GPS Macaulay Got Talent 13. Drum roll, please. These things are really tough to open. The runner-up is Kara and Gabby. Great job. Awesome job. The suspense is over. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. The grand prize winner of a trophy and $500 in cash is written in that envelope. Sasha, please bring it out from wherever. Oh my goodness! Incredible! I need the... No, that's on the floor. Oh, thank you. His hands were busy with the, uh, the parasol. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please! Your GPS Macaulay Got Town 13 grand prize winner, $500. One really nice trophy is Sid Chima Cody! Well, I can definitely say you were a crowd favorite. I mean, ever since auditions, everybody, that's all, you're all everybody's been talking about, so. Give it up for Sid one more time. Your GMGT 13 grand prize winner. Way to go. On behalf of the Blue Tornado Entertainment Council and the GPS Gypsies, we would all like to wish you 
Good night, and we'll see you back here in 365 days. Thank see you ya. all.